your opinion, what set your brands apart in the competitive world of fashion? And what do you hope to achieve with your designs in the years to come? Well, I've been in business now next year will be 25 years. Lord have mercy. If you guys don't know, I'm a fashion designer um, in Houston, Texas, working in New York for eight years and the winner of Project Runway in 2006 and been in fashion, what's 24 plus eight? 32 years now. So I and I'm am 52, no makeup, no filter, trying to keep it real here on TikTok for now. But the next one, I might be all filter out, bow glamour, who knows? Um, so you know what I really want to achieve is I actually really miss doing um, evening wear. And I've been kind of experimenting with custom design lately, kind of quietly, but I really love doing it now. I love actually creating special moments for my client um one of a kind pieces for them to make them feel beautiful my motto has always been very simple i just want to make everyone feel as beautiful as they can and i do uh believe in snatching my client and making them feel skinnier prettier by you know sculpting their body when they allow me to sometimes it's all about the comfort and so that when it comes to fit is a whole different thing but i'm rambling so what i plan to do um in fashion, at least for my business, is to really great give amazing customer service um, through education, through fit, um, and through fashion, a combination of all those threes, and really giving custom personal service. I think with this online business and the social media, you miss the human connection. Um, you can actually come to my boutique in the Heights and now get real human being help and touch and you know sometimes if you guys are my custom client you get my cell phone <laughs> but anyway um that's really the difference okay another question with the rise of e-commerce and social media how do you navigate the digital landscape to promote your brand and connect with customers this is why i'm doing uh videotaping myself you know what i realize um if y'all don't know i'm a huge bts fan yes the korean k-pop band is because during covid i just binge watch everything they ever created and i saw them cry i saw them laugh i saw them work so hard and so i really like oh my god i admire them so much and i honestly love their music i mean i don't understand half of it but Music is universal, and I think design, fashion design and clothing is also universal. And so I'm finally, I'm more comfortable just sharing um, my behind the scene and not trying to be perfect. This is why I think my earlier video, I'm just going to pose from my bed before I see my staff and, uh, you know, start the day because it's just going to get too chaotic and I think I have to be perfect. I realize I don't have to be perfect to post. Um... So, cause I'll never get it done. I'm not gonna take forever to edit either cause I'm never gonna get it done. So, you know, everybody keeps saying, just do it. So I'm just doing as Nike said, just do it. And um, so anyway, I am just sharing more of me and hopefully you guys like what you see um, because I personally love seeing behind the scenes stuff and just, you know, when someone's just keeping it real and not trying to fake things. I mean, I never did. I just wanted, I was just trying to show you guys the pretty stuff. You know, it's just the pretty stuff. Um, but being a smallest business owner is not pretty um, at all. Um, it's scary, but it's always so worthwhile, honestly. Um, and I'm 52 and I feel like I honestly have a lot to share. So I think sharing is caring um, and people want to support people they know. And so... You guys go and get to know me better. And maybe not you not that this maybe you don't want to get to know me better. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, bye. Next video. Um that's it for now. Like, subscribe, but whatever's up there.